In this video, we are going to discuss about how to design the sequential circuit. The design procedure have the following steps. Let us consider another example. This is a state table given to you. And now complete the state table. You can see the states are represented using uh, alphabets. Complete the state table like this a on 0 is a output is 0 a b on 0 is c output is 0 c on 0 is a output is 0 d on uh, 0 is e output is 0 e on 0 is a output is 0 then comes a on 1 it is b and output is 0 b on 1 it is d output is 0 c on 1 it is d and output is 0 d on 1 it is d itself and output is 1 e on 1 it is d output is 1 now if you observe your state table is completed observe any state reduction is possible there is no possibility for the state reduction so let us go for the next step that is state assignment so in the case of state assignment i am assigning the value of 0 to a 1 to b 2 to c 3 to d 4 to e and so these values binary values should be replaced for in place of alphabets in the state table so we get the state table like this and also it is converted into the other form of state table so your l m n present state and c also single column we are maintaining whereas in the state table previously we are having two columns for c so it will be coming in this zigzag fashion actually a b c d a d e d a d like this it will come and in the case of output y it is 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 1 the, like that we are getting the state table and from the state table we are going to get the excitation table we have replicated the same here we are assuming that t flip flops will be used in the design process this is the excitation table for the t flip flop now let us consider l from the present state and the next state in order to get TL. So if you see 0, 0, it is 0 and 0, 1 in this part, 0, 1 if it is, then it is 1. So like this, when both present state and next state are same, TL will be 0 and if both are complement to each other, TL will become 1. Similarly, we will get TM and TN also. Now we are supposed to get the expressions for TL, TM, TN and Y. So if you observe here like L, M, N, C, 4 variables are there. So 16 combinations are possible but we are considering only 10 combinations that is from 0 to 9. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. 10 combinations only we are considering. So the rest of the cases that is 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 will be the don't cares actually. So now in order to get the expressions for TL, TM, TN and Y we have to use these don't care conditions to get more simplified form. Now getting the expression for TL you can first fill the don't care cases in the places of 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 that is here in these positions and you can observe that TL is 1 when L, M and C value is 6 and 8 and 9. So 6 is this, 8 is this and 9 is this. So mapping goes like this and the TL expression is obtained as L plus M and C bar. Now we have to similarly get for TM and TN. TM, TM is considered like this. Mapping goes in this fashion. So we will get uh, mapping of these four ones as a quad and these four ones as a quad and these as a quad. So we write the expression as mc bar. This this quad goes with mc bar and lc this quad goes with lc and m bar n this uh, these two don't care and these two ones makes m bar n. So now getting the expression for tn it is n bar c plus n c bar and getting the expression for y it is l c plus m n c. Using these expressions if we are drawing the circuit we will get the logic diagram. So the logic diagram is given in this fashion. This is T L L plus m n c bar. T m is given here 
M C bar plus L C plus M bar N and T N is given as a C exclusive or N and Y is given as M and C plus L C.